Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating Chromebooks Alpha using Microsoft Excel. In counseling research, we use Chromebooks Alpha to see how closely related items are as a group. And by items, I mean specific questions or statements on a psychometric instrument that a participant would answer or respond to. For example, if we had an instrument that was designed to measure depression, these fictitious data could represent the scores from five different items on that psychometric instrument. So for the first record, this would be the first participant. On the first item, they responded with a one, on the second a four, on the third with a two, and so on. So this represents data collected from 20 participants. Chromebooks Alpha is a measure of internal consistency. So we have these five items and we calculate Chromebooks Alpha to get an idea of the level of scale reliability. So before I calculate Chromebooks Alpha in Excel, I'm going to move over to SPSS. I have the same fictitious data loaded in SPSS, except here I also have the ID number. So you can see here 20 participants under ID number and we have the five items. To calculate Chromebooks Alpha, I'm going to go to Analyze and then Scale and Reliability Analysis. I'm just going to move these five items over to the Items List box. And under Statistics, there are a variety of other statistics that can be calculated, but here I'm just interested in Chromebooks Alpha. You can see down here with Model, there are five models available. I'm going to leave it set to Alpha, which is the default. So I'm just going to click OK. And I'm really just looking for this Chromebooks Alpha value. It's 0.844. So moving back to Excel, we know that Chromebooks Alpha is 0.844. How can we calculate that value here in Excel? Well, to do that, I'm going to use a function available under the Data tab of the ribbon up top. And all the way to the right, see data analysis. If this data analysis option is not available in the ribbon, go to File and Options and it will open up this Excel Options dialog. And from here go to Add-ins and down at the bottom where it says Manage Excel Add-ins, click Go. And here you just check off Analysis Toolback and click OK. So going up here to Data Analysis, we want to select from the Analysis Tools ANOVA two-factor without replication. And click OK. And you can see have the ANOVA two-factor without replication dialog. And first we want to select an input range. And this is going to be all of the items. So all the data in all the items. So be cell A1 all the way through E20, so A1 through E20. We don't have labels here. We just have the data without labels, so we're not going to check labels off. We're going to leave the alpha set at 0 0.05. And for output options, instead of new worksheet, I'm going to select an output range. I'm just going to put it below this correlation table I have here in cell G9. And then click OK. And you can see there's a good deal of output from the ANOVA two-factor without replication in Excel, including the count, sum, average, and variance for each row and for each column. However, of the most interest for calculating Chromebooks Alpha would be two of the values found in this ANOVA table here at the bottom, the mean square rows and the mean square error. With these two values, we can calculate Chromebooks Alpha. So moving down below this table, I'll select a cell. We'll use H49. Calculation will start with equal sign, then 1 minus, and this next part will be in parentheses. Although in this case, it doesn't change the value that would be calculated with the formula I like using the parentheses just to keep the calculations separate. So next I'll take the mean square error 
and then divide that by the mean square rows. So 1 minus the mean square error divided by the mean square rows. And click enter. And you can see we have a Chromebooks Alpha of 0.84354. Now in SPSS, the result was 0.844. The reason it's 0.843 here is because we're displaying more digits to the right of the decimal. So if I go back into the output in SPSS, double click on the Chromebooks Alpha value, you can see it's 0.843. 539. And moving back to Excel, I go to the Home tab and then display one more digit to the right of the decimal. You can see it matches 0.843539. So that is Chromebooks Alpha for the five items displayed here in the top left. I hope you found this video on calculating Chromebooks Alpha in Microsoft Excel to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.